Hello everybody, you can't see me here. It is 20 degrees outside, nice and cold. Uh, I'm gonna get, I loaded up the uh, Jeep with all the tin shred I have collected from the past few videos. I have taken out all the goodies from everything. So this is just gonna be a straight tin shred room. And there's that big heavy pipe, I busted it up, there was no lead in it. Uh, so, but it was easier to carry anyway. Uh, and that's it, it's just tin shred, so. Um, we're gonna go to the scrapyard, see what we can get, and we're gonna come back and take off. We're gonna cut up that ladder, and then I got some more aluminum, electric motors. Um, I don't remember what else, maybe some cans and stuff, but uh, I can't fit it all this go around. So we'll go ahead and take the electric motors, aluminum, we'll take some cans, a little bit of insulated number two. And that's probably it. Anyways, let's unload this. I mean, I still had room back here on the back for stuff. I might be able to... I might be able to put the electric motors up front. If I cut up the aluminum, maybe put it on a tote back here. I might try that. I'll get back with y'all and let y'all know. Alrighty, guys. I'm all back from the scrapyard. I just took in the tin shred. Uh, I found uh, this on the way. I figured I'd show y'all. Took the brass off. I'm gonna take, go ahead and clean that up and take it in now because I'm gonna take in all the aluminum. Uh, but since I had the, there was nobody there at the scrapyard yet. I was the first one across the scales, so I went ahead and saved that pipe that I busted up from my last video. It weighed 95 pounds by itself, and I sold it as a short steel, and I got three dollars and 33 cents for it. And it said I had the. First, the scale said I had 150 pounds, and uh, I was like, "Man, that's not right." That the scale had frozen up because it's so cold, and it hadn't zeroed out yet. So they, I don't know if it was right or not in the end, but they said I had 250 pounds. But uh, you win some, you lose some there. Last time it was in my favor, so we'll call it even if it was off. But all together, I got ten dollars, so it's not bad. We'll just shy. It was nine dollars and eighty something cents. But I scored some brass on the way home, so I want to load up all the aluminum and whatnot and see what we can do with that. Nice and cold out. Frozen solid, that water in there. I was like, I gotta hurry up and get home before it unthaws in my Jeep. But I'm trying to get that off, I'm gonna have to bust it off, I guess. It's just an earth stripped out, it's not turning. So. Oh well, clean up a mess. All right, we got the ladder all chopped up. I'm taking the rest of that short steel just to get rid of it. Um, that brass from that faucet just a while ago. One lead acid battery. I bet it'll be 32 cents. That's what they usually are. And some copper. Maybe that'll be a pound. If not. We'll just uh, bring it back home. Uh, some aluminum cans. Another tote of aluminum. Electric motors. Not quite full, but we'll take them. And some number two insulated junk wire at my scrapyard, pretty much. So, I believe that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. So, I don't know. We'll see if we get a little bit. See y'all. I'll show y'all the ticket. Alright guys, I'm all done with the scrapyard on that trip. Uh, short still, I had 30 pounds. Those two hubs. Uh, uh, they are three dollar, three and a half cents a pound for a dollar five. Yellow brass, I had two pounds. It's a dollar ten a pound. Two dollars and twenty cents. Number two, copper, one pound for a dollar sixty. Uh, that one little bitty baby, baby, baby battery was one pound, 18 cents. Uh, electric motors, 29 pounds, 10 cents a pound for $2.90. Number two, insulated, had eight pounds for 16 cents a pound for $1.28. Uh, pop cans, I had two pounds, 35 cents a pound for 70 cents. Old sheet aluminum, I had 31 pounds. Oh man, it's down to 18 cents a pound. It was 20. So for five dollars and fifty-eight cents, so that dropped another two cents. Holy smokes! 
But, anyways, that's that. 25 buckaroos off all that to keep us going. So, appreciate all y'all watching. I'll put this little video out. That way y'all, some people like to see what's going on. Alrighty guys, like I was saying before, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I got a phone call on the end of that last clip. But uh, me and Jensen are here picking up the little coonses from school. So once again, I'd like to thank y'all very much for watching. Y'all have a great day.